for example, in the radiocarbon section. I find it fascinating that we find radiocarbon in basically everything in the geologic column. If I remember your slide correctly, you said more than 500 million years, supposedly, according to the uh, conventional timeline, you find radiocarbon in these samples, diamonds, coal. And so I was thinking to myself, because I've heard many critics, I've heard them say, well, the C14 in diamonds and coal can be explained by in situ production. And obviously you heard it because you addressed it <laughs> through <laughs> uranium and thorium decay. And then they'll say coal, for example, acts like a carbon sponge. But correct me if I'm wrong, perhaps you can expand or reiterate the, the significance of those points. And the reason why uh, I think it's important to reiterate is because I still see this argument put forth even by popular critics like Hugh Ross, for example, I've seen him uh, make a similar argument. And so you discussed how the numbers have been looked at and you'd need far too much nuclear material basically to recharge the, the, the C-14. Is, is that correct? Yes. In the diamonds, you'll see it in John Bowen Gardner's chapter in the second volume, uh, rate book in 2005. He did the calculation. Uh, the levels of uranium found in the diamonds, for example, uh, you don't get enough alpha particles to impact nitrogen-14 to produce the levels of carbon-14 that we actually measured in the diamonds. And so that's agreed upon. Yes, coal, uh, the carbon in coal, organic material, acts like a sponge for uranium. But again, you, you, you know, even the secularists know that you just don't get enough uh, uranium to produce enough decay to bombard, you don't have enough nitrogen, for example, in coal. Um, you don't find nitrogen in coal. You find it in, in diamonds, but not in coal. So how can you produce carbon-14 in coal unless you have enough nitrogen-14, which you don't have? And I might add that, that in the secular literature, they took samples of fossils, of uh, coal, oil, natural gas, limestone, marble. Um, it's all documented there in the literature. Uh, it's in the chap in the rate chapter of the 2000 volume, uh, 2005 volume, um, written by John Baumgartner, and uh, from the literature with all the references. I mean, it's there, and it's as I said, samples up to over 500 million years, supposedly old, have measurable radiocarbon ages, and that means those samples are only thousands of years old. 